In this video, we will explain the rules for basic engagement inspector operations using both one momentum and two momentum. This tier two element has selected a militia element as their target. The tier two element is spending one momentum on this action. First, we need to make sure that the target element is in range. The entire target element is in the engagement range of 20 inches for the medium rifles that the tier two element are equipped with. At this range, they get a plus one to accurate fire as their modifier, which we will apply to the dice roll. One dice is rolled for accurate fire for each member of the element, and the results after all modifiers must be equal or greater than the ballistics value of the engaging element. With the plus one modifier, we have a nine that will become a 10, five becomes six, both twos become threes. We then compare this to the ballistic statistic of the tier two element, which is four, so that means that there are two accurate shots and two misses. Next, the target element must test for situational awareness for each of the accurate shots. Two accurate results mean that the target element have to make a situational awareness test to see if they are aware that they are being engaged. Their awareness statistic is nine, so they need a nine plus. Both of these rolls have failed, so they are unaware that they are being shot, which means that both of those shots have hit targets. There are now two lethality rolls to make. The lethality of a medium rifle within engagement range is five plus. Both rolls have failed, meaning there are no casualties. The last step is to roll for the target element's stress. Even though there were no casualties, there were still two accurate shots. For a stress test, the number of accurate hits plus the number of casualties are rolled. In this instance, that's two. They test on stress out of five. Each result which is equal to or over their stress value is a pass, and each result which is under is a failure. There's one pass and one failure here, which gives a result of one on the untrained stress chart. Using the untrained stress chart, we can see that this element is now shocked and can only use one momentum in an action until its next turn. So even though there were no casualties, there has still been an effect on their ability. If tier two had decided to spend two momentum on this action to engage with the target element, here's how it would have played out. Each figure in the engaging elements rolled two dice because they're shooting twice. Each additional momentum in an engagement action has a minus one modifier to accurate fire. So using two momentum means it is a minus one, which negates the plus one modifier that they would otherwise get for being in engagement range. They need to equal or beat the ballistics of four. You can see that we actually have eight potential accurate shots. As before, we now roll eight dice for situational awareness. The militia's awareness is nine, so they need nine plus. There is only one success in this roll. We now roll for lethality. This means that we need to roll seven lethality dice. These are successes on a five plus. There are two failed lethality rolls and five successes, which means the militia player will remove five models from their element. This stress test is slightly different because there was one successful situational awareness test, which will increase the element stress by one so the stress goes up from its starting value of five to six. We're rolling one dice for every accurate shot and one for each casualty. There were seven accurate shots and five casualties, which is a total of 12 dice. They need to score a six plus on each of these to pass. They have seven failed rolls, so when comparing this to the untrained stress chart, a result of five or more failures is routed. This element has effectively been destroyed. This shows the effectiveness of the difference between rolling with one momentum and with two and targeting an element that is not in cover.